hello everyone and welcome back. I know the previous clip is why you're probably here, and trust me, we'll get to that soon enough. Today, I'm making the trip to Lebanon Hills Regional Park in Egan, Minnesota, which is one of my favorite spots to ride in the Twin Cities area. This trail system offers a vast array of trails, ranging from beginner to more advanced, complete with an abundance of features as well as excellent signage throughout to avoid getting lost. Admittedly, I've only ridden this location a few times, but every time I visit, I seem to locate new lines, new features, and new challenges that I feel have all excelled my riding abilities, and today is no different. The final thing I'd like to note before we dive into the video is that I rode this trail system back at the end of April, so less than a month ago. I've included some of that footage in today's video as well to highlight some of the unique features that I attempted on that date, as well as to show just how incredibly different the forest and trails can look only weeks apart as we make our way into summer. All right. I've kept you waiting long enough. Let's ride. Here's a prime example of the signage you'll encounter throughout the trail system. The maps not only indicate your current location, but also the directionality of upcoming trails. I just checked out this double black or red line up here, and there's a huge rock slab, at least huge relative to what else we have here in Minnesota. I just pitched the GoPro up because I have a feeling I'm gonna need to get pretty far back on the bike. All right, first attempt. Pretty wet still, especially this little portion right here from the rain we had yesterday, but there's plenty of time to recover. Here we go, dialed. Oh, what a feeling. Uh, and truthfully, I just trusted my technique, got the weight back a little bit, pushed down with the arms to match the contour of the slab. The rest kind of took care of itself, but that's a beast easily as tall as me. Oh, and if you haven't caught on by now, there are rocks and technical sections all over this place. So if tech is your thing, this place is for you. Because there's a lot. Like, a lot. <sighs> yeah. Yes, sir. Let's go. That was sick. Second try. At some point in the midst of my countless failed attempts, a kind gentleman pedaled past me and hit the feature perfectly. As he continued on, he yelled back to attack the final part of the feature, meaning to use one final pedal stroke to generate force going into that last portion. 
ultimately, I owe my success to him since I hadn't even previously thought about, let alone attempted, a pedal stroke law on the feature out of fear of losing balance. So whoever you are and wherever you are, I appreciate it. Yes! Let's go! Ah uh, yes, the dreaded GoPro effect. Even after attempting to show the size of this particular feature, it still ends up looking like a molehill on video. That said, I can still rely on my memory of how they looked in person, and I can still be proud of the fact that I even attempted these. You kidding? Ah, let's go. This feature is a work in progress for me. In order to ride the skinny second half on the right, I'm pretty sure I need to lift my back wheel and pivot slightly to avoid falling into the gap as I did several times today. This entails a combination of proper front brake modulation and balance, both of which I will continue to try and improve. I'll be back. Yes! Holy cow, that took it out of me. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you have any questions, comments, or would like to see me ride other locations, let me know below. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Until next time, get outside and ride your bike.